Yo, what is going on, y'all? Everybody that's watching this, boys and girls, um, I have a very important announcement, you know, and I'm just going to ask you all to just give me like a minute or two to just explain what's going on right now. And it's honestly like it's going to be very heartfelt. And I know a lot of you all have, you know, been in some type of situation like this, possibly. And I know if y'all will be in the situations to do what I'm able to do right now, then you will do it. I want to give a huge, I want to give complete prayers to my supporter, Amy. Amy is currently facing a challenge battle against a rare form of cancer called multiple myeloma. And when I tell y'all that this is one of the rarest forms of cancer, and, it, and it's so crazy because you know how I feel just about cancer. Y'all have watched me walk literally day by day with my grandmother going through cancer as well. Like the strength of a community, it lies in compassion and unity. And we have an incredible opportunity to make a positive impact on Amy's journey. We humbly ask each one of you to just consider donating. It don't matter if it's a dollar, just consider donating to help her in her fight against cancer. The donation link will be available in the link in the descriptions. It will also be pinned in the comments and I'm also gonna be placing her social medias on this tab right now, along with the GoFundMe. Just try to do all means possible for anyone's convenience. You know, I know a lot of people watching on different platforms right now. Join together and hold hands with Amy and let her know that, you know, we we are fighting this with her. You know, like she's, she's not in this journey alone at all. Like we have the power to create love and hope for Amy. Hashtag stand for Amy. Hashtag community for hope. Hashtag cancer. Yo, man, what's going on, y'all boys, man? Y'all don't know what time it is, man. We got another sad case of these guys must be stopped. Let's get into this video right now and see what's going on, man. Jack got another video. Title is his, her boyfriend sleeping with other women. By the title, you already know what to expect, man, but let's get it, let's go. Having placed her boyfriend, Keenan to an epic loyalty test. I really just need to see if my nigga cheating because he just always want to be on these bikes he always around his friends so i'm just oh trying to see God. what he really capable of is he loyal or do he be playing in my face what's up go did your car decline yes do you have any money um Let's do it. Make sure you click the link in my description. Back to the video. Keenan spent so much time on his bike and that bike rallies that his girlfriend Heaven is starting to feel very much neglected. On top of that, Heaven's best friend claims that she saw Keenan on his bike with a girl on the back. Not to mention my homegirl said that she saw him on that bike. You actually saw his face? Yes, I seen his whole face and I be with him all the time so I knew that was him. So did you ask him about it? I always ask him about it. He always tell me, oh, it's not that serious. We just be chilling. This is what me and the boys do. So I'm just tired of hearing the same thing. I'm just tired. OK, outside from her saying that she saw him on a bike, have you had any like other run-ins to where you felt like he was being disloyal to you? <sighs> not to embarrass myself or anything, but we don't even be fucking no more. Like, So I'm not going to lie. That be making me feel some kind of way. Wait, wait, wait. Um, so basically, y'all don't have mm -hmm. sex no more at all? No, like at all. He don't even want to cuddle every time Did I try to Did y'all used to always him. have sex? Yes, we used to have sex very often. Every time I want to fuck, he be ready. But now he just, he just not with it. He not feeling me no more. Kenan is no longer fulfilling heaven's sexual needs, causing her to think that he's being disloyal. Ironically, he's been doing nothing with his time but riding that bike when this whole entire time, <laughs> heaven's been trying to ride him. Hey, For those of you who don't know, that. if you're part of the bike community, brotherhood is very strong and anybody is down to ride at any given time. So he wanted to use that to our advantage and attempt to lure Kenan and potentially start phase one of this test. So we got Keenan Instagram from heaven and Gabe reached out to him to see if he was down to ride. Hey, did Keenan ever respond to you? Yeah, he had, uh, yeah, when I DM'd him, he had me back. He was like, uh, yeah, he down to ride, but, but bro, I gotta, uh, I gotta rally up the guys right now because I had told him we gonna ride tomorrow. What time did he say he was gonna ride? Uh, I ain't really give him no time, so I said, I just told him, I was like, hey, you ride? He's like, yeah, so I said, all right, said, I'm gonna get the guys together. Guys gotta ride tomorrow. And then shoot me your number, then I'm gonna see the time. He's like, all right, bet. All right, say less. He come out of the bed, he come out of the bed. All right, bet, bet, see him, see him, see him. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, I see him, I see him right there. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, you pulled up, huh? I didn't think he was gonna pull up, bro. Yeah, what's up, man? Meet the guys, bro. 
Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, see. Oh, see. Was it traffic? Ooh, yo, hey, it's my boy right here, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's my friend, yeah. Yes, sir. Phase one is simple, but the most important part of this test, and here's why. Barbara will be playing a decoy, and her job is to simply get his social media or a phone number so she can further discuss things with him outside of this ride. Well, her getting that. his number is very detrimental to the test because if she fails today, we will have to scratch her as a decoy and start this whole phase one over again. And who's to say we're actually able to lure Keenan a second time? We needed this to feel real, so I invited some of my closest biker friends to do an actual ride after Barbara attempts to get his number. Man, what's the, where the bike at, bro? Oh. Come on, bro, where the bike at? Y'all didn't even hit me up. Huh? Y'all didn't hit me up. Oh, man, I thought he's bringing the bike, dog. By the time I got the text that I was out here, I was yeah, already in the car. Right. Oh, for real? Bro, you're fake. Oh, you're fake, man. you're fake. All of y'all is fake. All y'all fake. Wait, who this? That's oh, my, my brother, bro. I can do that. Hey, bro. Oh, well, who are you? Kino? Yeah, my boy Kino, oh, man. Oh, okay, which bike is yours? He introduced himself. What's up, y'all? That's my shoes. How you doing? How you doing? Wait, which one is yours? This one? Which one? That looks like I ride. You probably got the best bike out here. Mm. Oh, ah, he know he ain't got a bike out here. Maybe this one? Yeah. This one? How long you been riding? I do, I do. <laughs> How long you been riding? <laughs> oh, this is a, a Suzuki? I ain't gonna lie, for a good three years now, I'll tell everything I know to myself. Really? Oh, okay. We gotta ride some time. You got... I don't ride bikes. Bro, don't I ride bikes? Ride bikes I'm serious. Bike. Why she got a bike? Why she got a bike? Nah, she ride bikes, bro. All right, big. I mean, that shit hard too, though. I know what you're saying. Hey, we low key all matching. So, yeah. yeah, no fun. Bro, not for real. I really ride. I think we should like link or something like that. Yeah. I mean, we we ride all the time. Race, race type shit. You so much you ride, we racing. I mean, I got some speed. What you got? I got some experience. You gotta ride with me to see it. Yeah, she got some shit though. It's her shit. It's her shit. It's her shit, bro. Yeah. Should have brought a bike, bro. Y'all, you text me way too late. Thank you. She big money. No, but for real. I don't know what you're doing this either, though. She probably is. I'll let you take it for a spin. This link. Nah, I do. I ride the speed limit. You know, right. I try to stay out of trouble. So you a speed limit? That's what you say you is. Mm -hmm. So what y'all finna do right now? Man, shit, we finna uh, we finna go on a little ride, man, a little route. Uh, what the same we always take big. Uh, well, we all on the bikes. Let me tell you this, like, to keep up. Nah, I'm probably not gonna go with y'all today, but like we should really like exchange either. You got social media? You got Instagram yeah, yeah. or something? Yeah, I got social media. All right, we can exchange Instagram and then we could probably link for a ride or something like that. Yeah. That's cool? Yeah, All right. See, I don't think don't, that's too don't bad. Don't stand a nigga up now. Here. I'm standing you. She cool. She cool people. Yeah. That's your people. That's my people. Yeah, that's our yeah, team. I don't, I don't think that's too bad. Like, I wouldn't consider this cheap. Y'all I mean, ready or what? Y'all like she trying to holler at him. She just yeah, talking right. business. Hold on, hold on. He ain't trying to All right, make sure you follow me back, bro. For sure. I'm serious. Hey, and stop being fake. Dino, be safe. Barbara successfully got Keenan Instagram, but like I said before, bike community is very friendly and Keenan giving Barbara his Instagram means absolutely nothing. Facts. After Barbara retrieved his Instagram and had a genuine conversation with Keenan, her work here was done. The guys ended up going on that ride and phase one was finally complete. We wanted to wait a few days before messaging Keenan, so we did just that. But after finally sliding in his DM a few days later, this is how that conversation went. Barbara reached out to Keenan and said, hey, what you got going on today? He said, nothing, just chilling. She then responded, you not riding today? He said, I didn't plan on it, but if you're riding, then we can do that. Barbara then responded, it's low-key hot as fuck. I'm thinking we can grab some food or chill at my place. It's up to you. Leaving everything up to him. He then responded, I can slide. What side of town you on? Barbara said, I'll send you my location. What's your number? To make a long story short, Barbara ended up inviting Keenan to the crib later on that night, and he accepted. Giving us enough time to go in and place our cameras to catch his true intentions. Mm. When Kenan arrived, most of the loyalty tests will take place right here, but we'll be watching upstairs from a room in a command center. Barbara will be playing a decoy for today's loyalty test. Hey, Barbara. Hello. So this is Heaven, Barb, Barbara, got a sister. Or whatever. Do you got anything you want to ask her or do's and don'ts that you, you don't want her to do? Um, I really just want you to go off for it because I'm really just trying to see if my nigga loyal to me or not. So do what you do and we okay. go see how he 
how he play it. Okay. Okay. So friends, she's sitting in on it too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. All right, Wait, so what's we- What's your name? I'm Ray. Okay. Okay, so Barbara's gonna give Keenan a call real quick just to see if he's still coming. Okay. Tattoo he got on his neck. Crazy. Yeah. Either two things right now. Ken is extremely busy and he cannot get to his phone, or he flicking on Barbara right now. Call back. We're not gonna blow his phone up. We're gonna call him one more time, let it ring all the way through. If he does not answer, then maybe he had no intentions on actually coming over here. Mm. Maybe he not gonna come. Mm. Hey, hello? Hello? Hey, where you where you at? I thought you said you was gonna meet me so we can go get some food. You still wanna do that? Yeah, we can still do that. Okay, so how far are you away from the location you <laughs> I sent? Friend. Uh, cause I'm already started hitting that way type shit, so I'm like 15 minutes. Tell me okay. just gonna chill at the crib. Okay, that's cool. We could just chill at my shit. That's cool too? Yeah. Alright, babe, I'm finna slide. Alright, see you soon. I didn't tell your ass this nigga ain't shit. Girl, I, I just, I just can't. So how do you feel hearing the phone call? Irritated because we not even fucking like I was told you before. We not even cuddling. He don't want to kiss on me. And then another girl called him and he got the nerve to say he about to come over here. I just feel like he on some bullshit. And I was hoping that he wasn't, you feel me, go he fuck around. Answer. But clearly he yeah. trying to come to a bitch house. What are, what are you trying to do? Like, I'm confused. I don't fuck yeah. okay. So we're going to go upstairs. We're going to go to the command center. We're going to listen in on everything that they're saying. And we're just going to see how everything play out. Whenever you're ready to come down in the front, we can go ahead and do that. So Ken obviously ended up answering the phone. He agreed to come over to the crib. Everything is set. We're about to go upstairs and watch everything from the command center. And Heaven Eyes, she already said that he failed this test. So I guess we're here to see how everything plays out. Hugger or not. How long was the drive? Well, it's hot outside, huh? I'm on a bike, so. We can sit over here. Don't be scratching up my flows now. Nah, nice. Thank you. I was gonna order something. Are you hungry? You can sit in the Um, What you in the mood for? I mean, I had a little something, but I can eat. I can eat again, though. What you ate earlier? I had Chick-fil-A. Okay. Um, I know. It's Houston. Where Where are you from? I'm from Houston. Okay. We're from though. From? I'm from Houston. What do you do? Cause Why are you in my business? It's tough though. What do you do? You don't worry about that. You ain't telling me what you do. You could be in the CIA for all I know. CIA. Uh, I'm into Something like a lot. That. I do hair. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hair get you this? I need to do hair. Yeah, you do. Okay, so what you finna order? What we finna order? Oh, we finna eat. To the hand. So, it's up to you. I'm gonna let you be the boss. Okay. You the one with all this. I'm following your lead. Okay. So when we going on a ride? Where is your bike at? It's you in see, the garage. You just, let me see. No, cause you're not answering my questions. I think you scared to race. That's I'm not. Mean. Really, I'm my ankle kind of injured. I injured my ankle from riding. Uh, like I thought I was on. Um, no, I can't. So I just been taking a hiatus to you know heal. You thirsty? See what you got to drink. I got some. I think I got some water and stuff. I need to go grocery shopping. Maybe liquor. some liquor. liquor. You know, liquor give you courage. Come on, get some. Uh, what you mean? What I'm on? You you came over here. What you on? Uh, Let's start off slight. You like clear liquor? 
don't fuck with Clear? Fuck no. Clear, clear how you doing things. So, let me ask you a question. What? You said you single and you successful and whatnot. Why are you single and whatnot? Cause you? niggas you aren't. Can have whoever you want type shit. Cause niggas aren't. I can have you too, huh? I ain't gonna say that. So why you came I mean, over I, here? I fuck with you. You cute. You don't even know me like that. <laughs> so, that's not how else you get to know somebody. That's true. <laughs> you made me some water. Like I want some real drink. Uh. You ain't got no liquor. Let me see what's in here. <laughs> I ain't know you was being serious. I mean, you supposed to be getting food. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You wanna you wanna drink on a, oh, a empty stomach? She got some. You want some shots? Ciroc. Okay, come on, let's. Alright, let's take a shot. Ciroc let's open water. it. You gotta bless the bottle. You know how like Peach people bless the too. bottle before they open it? I'll for sure bless the bottle. You could bless them. Nah, you I'm just playing. Let me chill out. Yeah, you could do it. I'm gonna get some glasses. This shit looks locked. Lock, 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 lock. You said it look like what? You see so locked seal tight. I got some that in there. Let me see. Now, when you get drunk, what's gonna happen? I got the blue bottle. What kind of, what kind of are you? Well, I really don't like clear because it make you go crazy and stuff. So you, go crazy. you see why it's, so, it's still in you. here. You're a lightweight. Very much so. Here. You, you gonna take a shot? What, what you? How you? How you gonna look? Um. You wanna see? Got a couple of You want to see how I get? I told you I get a little courageous. You took I, one? I'm you babysitting. Bad. I just took a shot on me. Do it another one. You ain't come I over here for nothing. Well, what you saying? I'm just saying. Why did you come over here? Take your shot first. Okay, big boy. You want to take the bottle over there? Want to play 21 so questions? I'm gonna take you this water. He's talking, talking. Let's play 21 questions. Let's get to know each other. Let's get acquainted. So how long you been riding bikes? Um, well, why you want to talk about that? When you get liquor involved, you, I mean, boring. You gotta be real. Most girls that I know, they don't really ride bikes like that. Like, they be scared to get on bikes. And you, you wild. Like, it make it, it's lit, huh? You want to ask some questions? Oh yeah, we can play twenty-one questions. So, yeah. how is it gonna work? So, every every question you don't want to answer, you gonna take a shot. Okay. That's cool. Um. You gonna get drunk then? How many bodies you got? What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hang on. Hang on. You in a hot seat. Okay. Hey, good job. You want to ask me something? Dude from the past out. What's something about you that nobody knows? That nobody knows? Yeah. Not a lot of people know? Like nobody knows. Uh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> then nobody knows. That ain't funny. Mm. This is face. I think, um, so I look like I'm like innocent and stuff, but I'm really not. Like, I'm really, so I'm a Gemini. Mm. Dang, who keep calling you? My brother, like, he. Dang! He you think it's, he keep calling, okay. so you should probably answer. It's probably an emergency. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I'm his brother. I'm sorry. Why he? Yeah, brother. Then nobody knows. Mm. Be real too. I think um so I look like I'm like innocent and stuff, but I'm really not. Like I'm really so I'm a Gemini. Mm. Dang, who keep calling you? My brother, like he he bro, that nigga always asking. You think it's money he keep calling, so you should probably answer. It's probably an emergency. So I'm his brother. Why he don't wanna I'm say it's his bitch? Yeah, like, but what if he it's an emergency and he needs some money because he got a flat and he just hired? I can talk to him whenever, that's cool. Okay. Okay, let me ask you Back next. to the question. I already answered it. I'm not as right. innocent as I look. You wanna know something about me? Yeah. Um, I was a licensed masseuse, but nobody know that shit. Oh. Okay, so you do it with your hands. Oh, <laughs> like what? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, a licensed masseuse? Yeah. <laughs> he don't got no license. Oh, you can do my back. Yeah, like you oh, you don't got no oil. oil. That's why I'm even gonna say, like, you, you the masseuse, you're supposed to act like. With the Ciroc bottle, too. No, we're not gonna do that. Okay, let's do. Oh, you want me to lay down? Okay, here, hold this. How you want me to lay down? Like, you want me to. Dang. Oh, no, I'll answer my question, though. So, like, how you want me to do this? Because this is my crib. 
We trying to get you drunk. I'm trying to get you out your. Let me chill. Very much so. You want me to lay down? Like, what you want me to do? If he lay this bitch down, down and, and start, start rubbing her back? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. She gonna run there. So you gonna lay across here, and then. Okay. You gotta tell me like. Oh boy, stick out on the gear. Oh, you been so we got some clothes. So like, where you be having tension? Uh, really oh, yeah, my whole bag. Watch that. It's over. And the friend with it. You didn't give your your ex girlfriend massages and stuff. She would have stayed if you was a masseuse. What the fuck is you doing? What the fuck is you doing? You at a whole bitch house? Where's your phone? Where's your phone? Where's your phone? I've been calling you. I thought you was with your brothers. I thought you was with your brothers. I thought you was with your brothers. What if, and you been single? You been single for how long? You been telling this bitch you're single? What? I don't know. Innocent shit, nigga. Acting like you just been. I thought you was with your brothers. I thought you was with your brothers, nigga. You asking the bitch what she do for a living? Where the fuck is your crib? Where the fuck is your crib? Where is your shit at? Where is your shit at? You don't have shit. You're a bum, and you up here trying to cuddle with a bitch. That's cat. Who is you? Like, what the fuck is going on? Bro, so the whole entire time you been on a loyalty test. The day you met the decoy bar. She wasn't really fucking with you at all, bro. You've been on a little test the whole entire time. So your girlfriend set you up because she. she... Fuck with me for real. Not Boy, get the fuck out of here. Oh, Boy, get the fuck out of here. You in the whole bitch house talking about what? You in the whole friends, bitch house talking about what? Why the fuck bro, is you, you in the bitch house? Room? Because what the fuck is you doing? Room. What the fuck is you home, doing? Bro, y'all get my face. No, face no face 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 but you, you, you wasn't, you wasn't scared. You only mad because you getting caught. But you was, but you was on that. No, you was, you was on that when you was in here by yourself. And you a license in the suits, right? When you get your license. Shit, when you I get your license, you don't have no money. License for what? You in this bitch drink and so rock this cheap ass liquor? Is you serious? That's get the fuck shit. out! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! You need to go. You so fucking lame. And where right, the fuck is your? Shit lined up, nigga. Get the fuck. <laughs> All right, that's shit lined up. I ain't tripping. Gotta have a backup. Boy, man. fuck you. Gotta have a backup. Fuck you. Don't come back to her shit. You're you're lame as fuck. On this lame ass bike, you wish your brother here lame. Boy, this show. Nigga, this, the fuck is this wait, get the fuck this lame ass bike, nigga. I will literally hey, bro, break bro, your bro, shit. Bro, don't play with me. Out, don't out, play bro. with me. Don't play with me. That's so get the fuck home. home. Watch out. I don't give a fuck. Hey, watch out with this shit. Hey, I will break everything her, you got. I'm trying to dip. I don't fuck with you. You're all weird, nigga. No, you're weird. You over here trying to fuck with a bitch. You're not single. Hey, watch out. Let him go. It's good. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. It's good. Don't worry about it. Boy, you're you're the lamest nigga ever. Bye, you're weird. And that's why you don't got no bitches. Nobody wants you. You out here begging, literally. You out here begging at a whole bitch house. I can call a Bye. And, they, and I bet you still won't have no bitch. You're lame. You ain't getting no pussy, clearly. None. You're lame. You're lame. You're lame. Get the fuck out. Why the fuck are you still in the driveway? How the fuck are you? got a thousand dollar helmet, no money, no house. What? No money. Who told you that shit? Where's your money? Who told you that shit, bro? You asking this bitch to buy you food. You asking her where the money at. You asking this bitch to buy you food. You don't have no money. You don't have no money. Why are you still in the driveway? Nigga, I'm trying to do. <laughs> You're still here. You're still here. I ain't got no money. Ask everybody on the fucking. Nobody know. Nobody know. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. It's a long lame ass niggas. Not in your lane. Not in your lane. Bye. You have nothing. Okay. Go ahead. Girl, fuck bye this bye. nigga. Fuck this nigga. Niggas is lame ass nigga. On that broke ass bike. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said in my previous video, for the person who passes the next loyalty test, I will reward them $1,000. Thanks to Keenan, that $1,000 just turned into $2,000 because he failed, obviously. See you guys in the next loyalty test, man. And until next time, jack off. Yo, I'ma say something. I was expecting a lot more from the friend on this episode. I was expecting a lot more on this episode in general. It's still crazy how it turned out, but her reaction wasn't what it was supposed to be. I mean, I didn't seen Jack do a lot of content, but this is probably one of the furthest ones that it have went with saying like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, well, people touching each other and the dude just obviously not caring. And I didn't see some more better reactions than this. But the episode in general was cool. I mean, it was sad. I mean, obviously the outcome was sad. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 he wasn't on that type of time order anymore. He could have just, you know, verbally tell, I'm verbally, you know, verbally just told her what was going on. Like, look, I ain't digging you no more. We need to figure something out, therapy, whatever it is. Like, instead of just ignoring her. Then he lied to him, so it was his brother too. 
Like it was a whole lot of red flags from the beginning where you should have knew what was gonna go on with Buddy. And I'm just gonna keep it a stack. But y'all let me know your honest thoughts and opinions on this down below. I was expecting the friend to go crazy. Cause that's normally what friends be there for. Cause they know that they friend of the of the person that cheated know like that they not finna react how they supposed to. But knowing we got your friend, they don't care about life, so they can do whatever they want to. I know if I got my partners, some of my partners, that they go come just because they know I'm not gonna do what they go do. Y'all know what I'm telling. A lot of y'all got friends down below where y'all know, or you might be that friend that you have to show up, or your friend gotta show up because you know they ain't go pop off like you would and what's needed. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below. Make sure if y'all enjoyed this reaction video, you smash the like button, comment, and subscribe for a boy. Let's get it let go.